Welcome to our exploration of the fascinating world of anatomy, where today we delve into the intricate structures of the thymus gland. Nestled within the chest, this organ plays a crucial role in the development of our immune system. Join us as we journey through its anatomy, uncovering its mysteries and understanding its vital functions. Prepare to be amazed by the remarkable intricacy of the thymus gland. An important function of the thymus is to produce and transform new lymphocytes, which defend the body against pathogens and other inert substances. Along with this, thymus also plays an important role during the development of the baby. It develops in the uterus of the baby and helps in the development of his immune system after birth. In the normal development process of the thymus, it gradually becomes smaller after the birth of the child and its activities also decrease. This is a process called involution of the thymus. This is a natural process that occurs in most people during adolescence and means that the function of the thymus may decrease. This process is important for the normal development of the immune system, but sometimes it can be affected by infection or other low-level cells. Primarily, the thymic region is located behind the chest of the body and helps in detecting the position of the thymus. Location The thymus region is located in the middle and back of the chest. Here the thymus gland can be determined and its condition examined. Diagnostic use The thymus region is studied to rule out various thymus-related problems, such as thymoma or thymic hypoplasia. Radiological imaging Radiological imaging of the thymus area may be performed, such as X-ray, CT scan, or MRI, which helps determine the size, condition, and problems with the thymus. Cortex the outer region of the thymus, where new lymphocytes are generated and develop. Production of lymphocytes. The cortex is the outer part of the thymus where new lymphocytes are produced within the thymus glands. These new lymphocytes arise from different lymphocyte lineages and are represented in their developing style. New lymphocytes develop in the cortex after they are generated. Here, they train for their activities and are activated for immunity. Cellular interactions. In the cortex, cellular interactions occur between lymphocytes, allowing them to determine their state. Through this communication, lymphocytes share their stored information and receive the stimulation necessary for their growth. Important role in the development of the immune system. The development of lymphocytes in the cortex is important for the proper development of the immune system. Here, the proper development and training of new lymphocytes gives them the ability to protect against various types of pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, etc. Thus, the cortex is an important part of the thymus that helps in the production and development of new lymphocytes, which protect the body against germs and other inert substances. The medulla is the inner medulla of the thymus, where constant modification and replacement of lymphocytes occurs. Here are some important facts that provide details about the medulla. Training of lymphocytes. The medulla is the inner part of the thymus where new lymphocytes are trained. Here lymphocytes are modified and transformed appropriately for their uniqueness, so that they gain the ability to fight against pathogens and other inert elements familiar to them. Modification of lymphocytes in the medulla plays an important role in their preservation and modernization. In this process, lymphocytes represent in their typical style and develop your infection prevention abilities. These specific abilities help protect against germs, bacteria, and other types of infections, helping the body fight germs. Thus, modification of lymphocytes in the medulla is important for their immunity and makes them active against microbes and other infections. The medulla serves as the endothelium of the thymus and is the site of final transformation of lymphocytes. Here, lymphocytes are converted into their final form, giving them specialized tools that help defend against a variety of pathogens. T-cells and B-cells are two major types of lymphocytes that help defend against a variety of pathogens. T-cells primarily drive cell-mediated immunity, while B-cells ultimately produce antibodies that neutralize pathogens. In this form, transformation of cells in the medulla into lymphocytes plays an important role in immunity. The medulla serves to protect and absorb the thymus, providing protection against various microbes and other effective substances. The main function of the medulla thymus is to conserve lymphocytes and develop them. Here, lymphocytes are trained and modified so that they can fight effectively against germs, bacteria, and other infections. In addition, there is also a change in the lymphocytes into specific types of cells in the medulla, which makes the immunity even stronger. This ability of the medulla protects against germs and other infections, helping to maintain the body's immune defenses. In this way, the medulla thymus plays an important role in maintaining the health of the body. Thus, the medulla is an important part of the thymus that plays a vital role in the modification of lymphocytes and the immune system. As we conclude our journey through the anatomy of the thymus gland, 
we hope you've gained a deeper appreciation for this often overlooked organ. From its role in training immune cells to its significance in maintaining overall health, the thymus proves to be a remarkable component of the human body. Stay tuned for more fascinating explorations into the wonders of anatomy, and don't forget to subscribe for future updates. Until next time, keep exploring and embracing the marvels of the human body.